Right on the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway, not far from uh, Highway 19, this is the Plot Balsam Overlook. We're at 50,020 feet. Yeah, that's where we're at. And look at this view. Some kind of pretty. Look at this. Wow, 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 wow. Hi, it's Jerry and Joan and I are having so much fun on a five month trip. We're going from Florida all the way through Georgia, Tennessee, up into the big mountains of North Carolina, just having a blast. And one of the things that's very, very important for us, especially when we're out on the road for five months, is to have a good night's sleep. And we're doing that from RVmattress.com and their Brooklyn bedding that is specifically made for RVs. We just absolutely love our mattress. We slept on the old RV mattress one night, that's all it took, and we got us a signature series, but there's more than just that. They have four specific brands from their high quality memory foam all the way up through their hybrid series of mattresses. And it's just a great night's sleep. It doesn't matter whether you're a back sleeper or a side sleeper or a stomach sleeper. They have a firmness and a mattress that fits your style. The comfort is just absolutely amazing. And we just love these mattresses. Ordering your Brooklyn bedding mattress couldn't be simpler. Go to the website, pick out the style you want, the comfort that you want, the size that you want. Within weeks, it will arrive at your doorstep. Lay the box on your bed frame, take it out of the plastic, and within minutes, it's full size and it's ready to sleep on that night. No off-gassing, it's a great mattress. 120 night sleep trial is absolutely fantastic. What a guarantee. 10 year warranty, free shipping in the USA. Joan and I love our RV mattress. The quality of sleep and the good night's rest is just wonderful. If you would like your own Brooklyn bedding mattress for your RV, visit rvmattress.com slash I love RV life. And to get 20% off your mattress purchase, use the code I love RV life. And we would like to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Something I've really enjoyed about staying at the campground, you can actually see it behind me, is a Moody Farm Road. Moody Farm Road is right here in the middle of Maggie Valley. And you can literally see the big hill ranges, mountain ranges around here. And uh, Moody Farm Road is very flat and they've got these really nice sidewalks and it runs right along the creek bed here. And it's just nice to come out and take strolls. So there's a shot of the campground back in the distance. You can kind of see mine and Joan's backyard. That was our backyard this, this month. <laughs> it was really nice. And my, this was kind of my, my view from my office window. We'll kind of continue to walk down here. We're gonna go buy some kind of high price homes down here before we get over to the creek area. Butterflies everywhere. Look at this, just gorgeous. It's beautiful. We've had some rains and the creeks are really percolating. Look at this. See a little home down there. So this is all along Moody Farm Road. There's several other spots I'll take you to. It's gorgeous. So as you take a stroll, you know, along Moody Farm Road, you can, you know, kind of do these little turnaround spots right here that you can see the creeks. Haven't seen the ducks today. I was down here a couple days ago and they were, didn't have my camera, sorry. There were ducks everywhere and they were playing in the rocks and, um, you know, shoot, shooting the rapids. <laughs> They were cute to see. Another little spot up here that's kind of neat. I'll show you two things that's kind of interesting. One's Creek and uh, one's my 
kind of addiction to coming up in the mountains and come around the farms. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, you can tell nobody's lived here in a long time. But uh, look at the uh, shakes on the front. Isn't that beautiful? And then I can only imagine how old that, I think that's a juniper tree, cedar tree. It's probably um, over four feet at the base. That thing has got to be hundreds of years old. Look at that thing. And you can tell where uh, the foundation came from. You see all the old river rock in the steps and the foundation. Oh, beautiful old tin roof. What a pretty, pretty, pretty old place. I'm not sure what condition it's in. Oh, I'd love to get my hands on this thing. <laughs> Money was no object. Isn't it pretty? All right. My addiction. We're going to continue down the road here. There's another little spot I want to show you along the creek. All along the walk, you follow the creek. And it kind of serenades you. And uh, there's a little spot right here. There's a there's a home right over here. We'll want, we won't go into their property, but uh, there's a spot here I think that we have a public access to that we can kind of tiptoe down. I guess this is my lawn chair spot. Look at this. I just love, love, love these mountain streams and then all the rocks and all the big trees that are in the area. That's pretty. And the streams just sing to you, don't they? Joni, you finding some pretty stuff? I am. You are? You getting you some turquoise jewelry to go with your earrings? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can tell you're intense. You don't want to talk to the camera. No, I don't. And you want me to talk to the <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. I thought it was all about me. It is all about you. <laughs> this is a fun little store right in Cherokee. It's got all kinds of neat things. Joan has been wanting some pretty turquoise jewelry. And if you see here, it's just absolutely tons of it. Um, and uh, Joan has some earrings and she's been wanting a ring and maybe a pennant. So we're gonna see if we can't satisfy that today. And then the shop's got some other interesting things too. Some really high-end stuff back here in the back. Let me show you that. When you come back here, you can really see the high-end stuff. Look at this. I mean, these are in the hundreds of dollars range and you can see the craftsmanship's really incredible. Isn't it pretty? Now, Joan's not, this is not Joan's thing. She's not going to quite go this route. But um, I've always had, I don't know what it is. I've always had an affinity for this type of stuff here. Can you see it? The bracelets, it's not showing it really well with the, with the blankets in the back. But uh, these are expensive too. These are in the five and six and seven hundred dollar range. It's a neat little shop. We'll go to a few more spots while we're here and see if we can't find something pretty cool. What'd you get, Joni? I got a little ring and a necklace. And got you a necklace too. Yeah. And the reason I, we went ahead and got this today was because? We'll be celebrating 49 years this August. This August, our anniversary. Yay, Joni. Well, we're just kind of walking around the Cherokee area. Uh, this was a little gem mine area. I thought this was kind of interesting. Just to kind of show <laughs> it's kind of cool, kind of neat. And then Joni and I are over here looking at at the, I think they call this Alkanalufi River. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, you can see that lots of people tube on this. I haven't seen any tubers up in this area. They may be a little further down. 
about that. It is rocking and rolling today. We've had a lot of rain up in the mountains last night and that river is flat moving. A gorgeous day in Cherokee, just absolutely gorgeous. We, we came inside the uh, little shop here and this is the actual mechanics that, um, that exists from the mill outside and you can actually see the leather belt right over there. Right, right there it is going upstairs. So we're gonna kinda of go up this little upstairs area here and see what they're doing. I think they're grinding cornmeal today. And when you come up from the steps, you actually have the meal. This is an actual working meal. You saw the mechanics down there. And uh, I think they're grinding cornmeal. And it's noisy. But you can actually see all the, uh, the works here working. Isn't that cool? This is pretty neat. I had no idea this was here. Jenny and I just left uh, Cherokee and we're taking the Blue Ridge Parkway back over to Maggie Valley. And one of the things that's incredible here is the overlooks. It's several miles. We're still climbing. We're at 4,160 feet. And this is what they call the big, big, witch, witch, big witch overlook. And let's walk down here. Now, we're gonna go up to about a little over 5,000 feet here. And uh, it's gonna be incredible. We got another 1,000 feet to climb and the views are gonna be stunning. And uh, we're going through tunnels and oh, just all kinds of stuff, it's wild. But uh, look at this view, isn't that something? I imagine falls here are stunning. Look at this, big witch gap. Gotta be a story there. Isn't that pretty? Well, one of the things about going on the parkway are the tunnels. <laughs> and they're everywhere. And we got the headlights on and it gets dark. <laughs> Real dark. And then we come out. Well, if you're planning on traveling up here and driving on the Blue Ridge Parkway, let me just kind of give you a tip. Um, if you've got a tall camper, you're not gonna make it. A lot of these overpasses like you just saw can range anywhere from you know 10 feet to maybe 14 feet. So uh, it, it gets kind of interesting, really kind of interesting. Well, right on the Blue Ridge Parkway, not far from uh, Highway 19, this is the Plot Balsam Overlook. We're at 50,020 feet. Yeah, that's where we're at. And look at this view. Some kind of pretty. Look at this. Wow, 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 wow. All right, from here, we're gonna continue up the parkway. We're gonna go up that way. If we see another overlook, we'll pull over. Just, I'm gonna, tell you what, I'm gonna do it in the other direction just cause it's some kind of pretty. Look at that. About coming up here to Maggie Valley, and especially once you come up here on the 19, uh, right outside of town, there's a place up here called the Old Gray Mare. And this is it. And Joni and I are in the mood for fresh vegetables. And these are all fresh from the mountains. They're good. And they are good, aren't they? Would you look at all this? So we're going to get us some sweet corn and some squash. And uh, I've already snuck inside and got me a peach knee high. We might even find us some mountain honey in there. So we'll... Uh, see what we can find all right it was awesome we got loads and loads of vegetables sweet corn and some squash green beans mountain honey oh this is gonna be good joni and i came up here to the car show we're a little late it's been raining and they have got some nice super looking trucks look at this i love these old pickups an old high sierra and man it 
Jonah, it looks like you could eat off that motor, doesn't it? Look at yeah. that. Look at that thing. All right, for those who wanted to indulge in a homemade beverage, you've got this thing complete with steel on the back of it. Now there's rat rods and then you've got this thing. Look at this jewel, the White Lightning Express. Even down to, look at the look at the doorknob, Joan. It's a it's a wrench. Let's see if I can see it on the tag. It's a 55. Look at this. Isn't that thing awesome? That is spectacular. Look at that. Wow. What have we got here, Joan? A 50. 57? 57 two door. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This is absolutely spectacular. What a beautiful car. Wow. Just beautiful. Goodness gracious. This is the one that Joni saw. She wanted to make sure we came down here and saw this. Oh, I mean, this thing's even, they've even put air conditioning in it. 351. Wow. What year is this thing, Joan? I can't even identify some of these. It's a 40. That is peach. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a beautiful truck. Beautiful truck. And I looked in and I said, it's got air. <laughs> oh, you gonna let me look in? Thanks. Wow, look at that. What a restore. And then some. What's the motor? 351. Uh, Cleveland? Windsor. Windsor. Yeah. All right. That is gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, that one's pretty too. Look at that. Look at this. Man, there are some fantastic trucks here. Just um, really awesome. Look at that. That is sharp. I like these. That's another one like I drove for your daddy. That is a beaut. That is a 60... Five, yeah, 65. I think his was a 64, but it looked like that one. Yeah. With a lot of paint and dents in it. <laughs> Some of which I put on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this thing. Holy Toledo. This is a, this is not a truck. This is a piece of art. Look at that. Wow, 77. That is gorgeous. 1930, 40 horsepower. All original? Mostly original. Mostly original? Mostly original. Oh, that thing is beautiful. 12 volt hydraulic brakes, halogen headlights. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like the safety stuff. Yeah, sure. Look at the inside here. Go ahead, you can open that. Oh, thanks. Look at that. Oh, man. That is awesome. What a beautiful truck. I like it. Me and Grandpa spent all last summer stripped it down, frame off, and painted it Did in Did a full garage. frame off. In my garage. That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Thanks Thank for letting you. me shoot it. No problem. Well, Joni and I kind of snuck off up here to the fairgrounds. It was a big swap meet. Saw some cool trucks. Yeah. Kind of a quick in and out. We thought we could get up here before the rains came back. Uh, we miscalculated. The rains are coming back. So we're going to cut this one short. Uh, they're shutting it down anyway, but we still got to see some cool trucks and cool cars. Still yeah. fun. Yeah. Still fun. Jimmy and I are in downtown Silva, a little ways from Maggie Valley. Just one of these little small mountain towns on a creek. Uh, they have a lot of music here on the weekends, things like that. Uh, we'll miss that this go around. But just an old mountain town and um, little shops. Thought we'd look around. There's a courthouse down here. I got to get a picture of before we leave. We just thought we'd look around a little bit. Just ate, uh, I think it was called the Oyster House. Yeah. Yeah, uh, right down the road here is the Oyster House. It's good. 
Uh, we didn't have oysters, but it was good. Uh, we did have a little bit of seafood. So uh, you can see the old downtown, you can see the old downtown architecture. Let's go in here, that's a fly shop. Let's go on down this way a little bit. I think I saw a couple places I wanted to peek inside. And uh, just a neat little old town. Pretty cool. Baxley's Chocolates, Joni. We uh, came into Baxley's Chocolate and I uh, decided I can't have chocolate long story there but I can't but they make lots of great chocolates but and you can see them they're back here. oh here you go you can see them making it look at that there we go right, look at that back here making the chocolates and uh looks like you're making pralines is that pralines in the back on the back there right now she is dipping truffles truffles and what's on what's on the marble that is a pecan uh, brittle. Pecan brittle, look yeah, at that. Off right now before it's that looks wonderful. Out. And we're having us a sorbet. I'm having raspberry and Joan's getting... What are you getting, Joan? I'm getting the salted caramel. Ah, you changed your mind. All right. Now we've been doing several different things. Um, you saw us where we went into the little chocolate ice cream place. That was good. We've got a great hiking store down here called the Black Balsam. A lot of guys in there that I talk to do a lot of through hiking. Pretty nice guys. Uh, we kind of stopped in down here at um, the Lazy Hiker Brewery and just talked with the folks and had a beverage. That was fun. And uh, there's a picture down here I want to take care of. Let's see, let's see if we can get this thing. It's kind of an unusual building. This is what I wanted to show you. Would you look at this place? Look at this old courthouse. Look at this thing, isn't it amazing? That is something quite spectacular. Well, we gotta go up here and get a better picture of this. Would you just look at this place? Amazing, what a great building. Wow. And look at this downtown view of just old Silva, pretty cool. On the weekends, right over there, they have music on the park. And I think they do that all. They have a schedule you can get on the website and see when that's going to be. But isn't it? Isn't this a great little mountain town? Just awesome. Really something. Such a pretty little place.